Hi, Brett. Hi, Sandy. Hi, how are you this morning, Pam? Hi, Pam. Hi, Sandy. Good. The usual morning battle to get on this thing. I mean, <laughs> three times the charm. I thought it was in room two, but it was in room one and I couldn't get out. It wouldn't let me out. So I had to shut my whole thing back down again. Oh, come gosh. back in, turn it back on, turn security back on. And now I'm sitting in a really bad spot. The sun's coming in. So what's new, anything? Um, the, sun, the sun is shining here for a change. It hasn't been there for a long time. Hi there. Boy, does my picture look terrible. What the heck happened? What the heck is, can you guys see that with Carol? What is that? I it's can't hear you, Sarah, around you're on our mute. head. Is that something, what is that red? You're on mute. Is she wearing a hat? I see you, but beret, <laughs> yes. You guys mind if I eat breakfast? No. no. <laughs> you can eat dinner if you want. Wrong time zone for dinner right now. Yeah, well. <laughs> the meeting may take a long time, Sandy. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to be here that long. Oh, I, was I on mute when I said it's a beret? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we can tell. Okay, it was for the meeting yesterday at the, the South the Open Space Commission. I'll take it off now. That's okay, I think it looks lovely. <laughs> I had a cat face for a while too, like that lawyer <laughs> who said, I am not a cat. <laughs> yeah. You look like you got a UFO flying around. I know, here. I know. Yes, I had many choices, but the beret seemed to be the most dignified. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh, is right. <laughs> what, what kind of a meeting are you at, Carol? <laughs> I'm at the COA now. What? No, no. <laughs> I mean, I yesterday, yesterday it was a webinar for winter so. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was trying to figure out how Bill gets his. Um, virtual background and the best I could come up with was a beret. <laughs> That's well, almost the same. You gotta go to, you gotta go to settings. Yeah, but it tells me I need a green, I need a green something or other. Green just say, you have an option, just say you don't have one. Yeah. And then Great. it gave it gave me kind of a blurry well. well um, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll just stick with my beret then. So <laughs> no, if you go, if you go to if you go to settings and then go to background, yeah, yes, I did. Background, it gives you a bunch of options, and you yeah. can also add an option like something out of your photos or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I did. I tried that, but I said it went because I didn't have the green background. It came out with this outline of me. No, I don't. Sort of I don't have. A... Hmm. I don't have a green background. Reminder yeah, I know. I, I don't. I did. I haven't had enough, a, a really yeah. long time to fool with it. Now, I, that's what I should have asked the IT guy yesterday. He did help me with a lot of other things. So next time I make an appointment with the IT guy. <laughs> There's an option somewhere as you're going through that thing that says, do I have a green screen? And you just put no. Yeah, I put no. And then it came. It, it allowed me to do it, but it came up very fuzzy. Oh. And that's, that's when you said it's my problem, Bill. <laughs> and this is being recorded, so I have proof. <laughs> oh man, what are we going to do with you, Carol? <laughs> I don't know. You're going sleigh riding tomorrow. I don't hear any complaints. Yes, I am. Great. It might be a good day. We're going to have enough snow. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah. We probably got more snow up there than we have around here. So. I'm bringing a surprise. Are you a horse? Don't say it, uh, don't say it publicly. <laughs> no, I won't. No, it's it's quite legal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's mine? Who's mine? <laughs> morning, Russ. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Hi, Russ. Okay. Uh, don't worry. I know it's a concern, but there's no snow down here today, so uh, a good day. 
Where are you on Sanibel? Yes. No, we're in no. Fort Myers. Oh, Fort Myers right now and then into Sanibel. Yeah. Where's your tan? <laughs> it's in the bottle that I forgot to open. <laughs> okay. You don't want to overdo it. No, no. Not at all. Bill, that paint, that uh, flagpole looks painful. It's sticking right out of the top of my head. <laughs> Shall I move over? <laughs> um, so we're waiting for another person or two. I don't. I didn't get a lot of response back from people. Then again, I usually don't. But That's what I get. I mean, for Marianne, is Marianne there? Yes, you're there. Yeah. I can't see this. I'm sitting in a really bad spot. You can see. You have the sun in your face. I know, so I already have, uh... moved twice. There's no good place at this table. If I can <laughs> the other end, it's it shines on the screen. Maybe, maybe sunglasses would help. Like Carol, does Carol have sunglasses on now? No, see, that's what happens when I, because I don't have the Whoop. green filter. See, I said it gets kind of fuzzy and you can sort of see things. Yeah, the disembodied head here. Yeah, yeah we'll and, I, and there's the San Francisco, what is that called? That bridge in San Francisco, Lothen Gate. <laughs> you're, you're in the wrong background thing. That's why you... you At virtual you, backgrounds, yeah. when I go from none to a background, that's what it does. Now your teeth are glowing, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got grass in my teeth. See, we're all over the place. I think you got a cap on. <laughs> yeah, my Zoom cap. Yeah. Uh, um, well, shall we get this uh, rolling? I was trying to pull up my copy of the uh, committee presentation, and for some reason, it's not loading correctly. I have you guys on one screen. I'm trying to do this on another. Not working out. Has everybody seen it, read it? Yeah, I have, yes. I have. Yep. Yes. No, I have not. Um, well, it if, should have been attached to one of the emails that I sent out. <laughs> I have I have an additional correction to it, uh, if you want to. And resend it to Russ. Did I, did I? No. I didn't put your name? Yeah. Oh, there. There. Yes, I know. Yeah. And it says Ross. Yeah. I didn't put your last name. I gave them to her. Yeah, that's right. We'll have to resend that to you, Ross, so you make sure you have it. Okay. All right, shall we call the meeting to order at uh, 8.33? And quickly take attendance. Uh, Brent? Here. Uh, Mary Ann? Here. Carol? EC. Here. Sandy? Here. Bill? Here. Here in French. Okay. So uh, we have a quorum. You forgot Russ. Um, Russ. I'm Russ. Oh, I'm sorry, Russ. That's okay. Are you here, Russ? Anybody else is here, not here, raise your hand. <laughs> I, have, I have you on my list, Russ. I still can't load this. Darn it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're having trouble. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, well, I'm out of luck here. Um, so does anybody have any comments ab about uh, the document? I would like to make one one correction, Doug, okay. uh, one, one edit. Uh, on the last page where it's talking about pricing, uh, yes. 
it says, given the time restraints, we do not have a firm cost estimate at this time. We can leave that sentence off because we do have a cost estimate from John Parent now. Okay. Um, um, do we want to discuss I, that at the moment? Yeah, I guess that's my question. I just want to make sure that that's sort of all inclusive, at least for the building part. Well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get us to the point where they say, okay, you've got three hundred. Sixty dollars, three hundred thousand, three hundred sixty thousand dollars to spend, and we find out it's four fifty because we didn't factor in something. I, I think we got to believe that John has has got everything in there. If you look at his breakdown that he that he had originally, that uh, Asabet used, it pretty much covers everything, including excavation and foundations okay. and the whole nine yards. I think it's. I think it. I got to believe that John has got this number pretty pretty much uh detailed properly okay i don't think so, he'd sign his name i don't think he'd sign his name for the letter he did if he wasn't okay. feeling comfortable with the number so uh, <clears throat> i was unclear though is is that estimate from john though still assuming asabet though no this is using a private contract oh, this okay. latest letter <laughs> i know that's uh, what we and he for, went to but... he went to the the fellow that that uh, the architect that put together the the uh, bid package that Asabet used, right? And uh, and he he's gone back to them and that uh, Ray uh, Gert, yeah, Gert, Gert, yeah. Uh, you know, I just I, I, I maybe I missed it, but I don't see in the letter where you know it didn't specify um, using a private architect. I don't know if that's it's not necessary to specify, but I just wanted to clarify for myself yeah, that three fifty is, is not using yeah, Asabet. <laughs> Yeah, that's not using Asabet. Okay. And one thing I, I talked to Pam about yesterday was, shouldn't we also include some money for the furnishings for the, that addition, like tables, mm -hmm. yeah. chairs, and, and uh, seating, bookcases, yes. such and such. And we kind of came up with a real wild guess of about $20,000 would be a comfortable addition okay. to that number to uh, furnish the addition. <clears throat> so as long as we it's free money, we might as well ask for it if we can get it. Right. So how about, uh, we're gonna need construction drawings as well, correct? Because we don't have any construction drawings that, uh, that we can submit to the building department to, um, and, give to and give to the engineers that are gonna build it. Yeah. I. I I gotta believe that John's got that in his somewhere in his package. Yeah. I think that's that. I think that's probably included in that number, right, Bill? Okay. Uh, that's what that's what I'm thinking. John's okay. saying if you go with this number, we can do the job. So I'm guessing. Okay. I, 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 that's a good question to ask John. Next time I see him, I'll ask him that. But just okay. to verify, but I I think that's a good number. So so let's add let's add a line in about uh, you know furniture. And put the put that amount. In. I'm good with that amount. If everybody else is, yeah, okay with me. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll add that into the sentence. My question, my question is, um, what is the uh, top amount that we can uh, go to with the ADA uh, information that we have on that building? I asked John that question the other day. He said, "You're you're good." Using this number. Okay, but is is there like if, if we wanted to go the the total amount, can he give us that number? Like is it three fifty-five or three sixty-five or he, he said he said you can use he said at the three fifty, we were talking three fifty, his his number without the twenty on top of it. He says you should have no problem. And his other comment was. This building is uh, this building being the senior center is is pretty pretty decent as far as ADA is concerned. And he says if there was an additional cost of, of something to comply with ADA, that he could cover it. So he was he wasn't at all. I asked him that question, and he wasn't at all concerned about us and, and hitting the ADA threshold. Okay, Bill, Bill, that. Uh, bothers me a little bit because uh, wouldn't we have to make the whole building comply 
with ADA, which would mean the downstairs, which would mean an elevator? He said, no. I said, what about an elevator? He says, we don't need an elevator. He says, we're concerned about the middle floor. And, and he kind of, he was very uh, uh, happy with the fact that uh, if, if there was any ADA issues that he could cover it, or he could get it covered, that there wasn't that much of a, a issue. And I don't know what the answer to your, that, that specific question is. I can ask, I can ask him about that, but it would seem like, well, you know why that would be okay? Because we got the ramp out the back and that, that covers the ADA requirement. We've got that long uh, uh, U-turn ramp that get, can get people downstairs if they wanna, if they want to take a long trip. I guess that is a long trip if you want to go downstairs, right? <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Um, just, I'm, I'm not making this as a suggestion, but what would it cost to put an elevator in? Are we talking 100,000, 200,000, 50,000? Does anybody know? Probably, probably over 100,000. Because, yeah. you know, again, I'm not making it as a suggestion, but if, you know, if, if in the future it might become, um, I don't know, a rational decision to stay put, and do something more to Porterville Hall. It, that might it, it, come into yeah, play. It's really not something easily retrofitted. Well, so I mean, I, it would probably be an addition. It would probably be a, an adjunct onto the building somehow. I, I, I said that. I don't want know, to I, confuse I, yeah, the current it's, issue it's with just, it. Again, but I'm just, that, you know, that I'm just saying really hard. for my own. Because you have all the electrical and all the mechanical stuff that has to be put in. Uh, yeah. And it's it's not even easy to put it on the outside. Yeah. Okay. It's just yeah. not. Right. It would, it, so it's it's an older building. I'm, I'm thinking you know, in terms we're, of we're, what would have to be done we're, to save Corderville Hall in the long run, and, and that's one of the things that would come into play, I would guess. I, I would think we'd have to resolve the uh, caught, uh, the Woodward issue before we ever yeah. uh, approach that. Yeah. Okay. We well, might, again, we, it's, we can, it's not we really. We can blow this by the town, but now. I don't think we could we could uh, get a. a cost of an elevator and, and no I'm, I'm not suggesting it based on the fact that may may be a cemetery 10 years from now <laughs> well i think that's part of our argument is that really i we haven't seen any plans to do anything with it i mean you know they're talking about it having a value of you know x but um I, at least according, I haven't seen anybody say we are going to tear it down or we're going to do something, you know, it's not going to be here in 10 years. There, there might be some talk about that, but it's not in the capital plan that we're going to save all this money by not having it here. So yeah. I think that should argue in our favor as well. So as far as we know, nobody's suggesting that we're tearing it down. It's a, it's a, yeah. you know, it's a semi-historic building in the yeah. center of town. As I, as I see, one one possibility is on the other side from the cemetery is a, a private property that maybe who who knows what that disposal maybe that ends up being available for the for the town to to acquire as part of the senior center or you know again we're talking down the road and not part of this issue at all but it could change the fate of Cordova Hall anyway not not to be discussed here so. Is there anybody that, that doesn't want to, you know, go for this edition and go for the ARPA money? Oh, go for it. No, no, I'm not. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. Okay. Me too. Um, do, we need a, do we need a motion on that, Doug? Um, I, think, I think we'll do one motion at the end about sending, sending this to the ARPA committee, and I think that assumes that we're all in favor of it. That we'll take a vote and that it'll be unanimous. Does that sound okay? Sure. Okay. I had I went had one one change to make to the first paragraph, um, where it says the uh, not familiar with the senior center. I think there should be a comma, but also the word "its" should be "i t s" rather than "i t apostrophe s." Oh yeah, I missed that one. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, well, I'm going to be gone from now. Um, well, what, what was the other? What was the other comma? Uh, a comma after the senior center, and then I T S rather than with the apostrophe. 
I'm not familiar with the senior center, comma. Yes. Programming, ITS apostrophe. Yes. Okay. No, no apostrophe in the its. No. Just, just I, it? just, just ITS. No, no apostrophe at all. Okay. No. What about the other places where I put that in? Um, I'd have to go back and look. Um, well, I will, but because I've had, I've used that it's with the apostrophe after it in several places. Yeah, it's it's apostrophe if it's possessive or it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there isn't. Sometimes you can put an apostrophe after the s. Correct. Which is on the third page where you said the South Burr Council Aids tries to improve our facilities and maybe its ability, which that's appropriate. Yeah, that's, that's possessive. And, and so I, that's okay. That's okay. And that's even, okay. Even the next paragraph with downsizing its capacity. That's okay. Okay. Good. All right. So uh, I had one other question that I, I wanted to ask somebody to confirm. I, I um, used the percentage of citizens over 60, the, the increase to 20.4% to 33 in the next five to six years. Can, can anybody verify that that's, that's real? I, I, I think the, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you about that. I, I think that when they were, when whoever was mentioning those Figures, I think they said 2030, the percentage would be as high as maybe 30% or in the high 20s. I'd be a little conservative. I'd rather be a little conservative there. Right. And before you write that out, let's just, let's just see if we can find, uh, if we can find a number. Um, it's got to be somewhere in the town uh, because we, we want to use town figures. And I thought they, I thought they quoted it from the town, but I've seen two different. I've seen two different numbers, and I didn't. I, I, I used this one as one that was in the in the original letter to the capital planning committee. But there are some numbers out there, and I may be able to find them. I just didn't. Okay. But I thought maybe somebody here knew what they were. Bill, Bill, I think it just that number appeared. We got a some kind of a communication from Pam from the town clerk with the new census numbers. I think it's oh, okay. in there. I think you're right. I got to find that. Okay. Or somebody find it. Unless Pam has it. We need to get an answer to that to move forward. I can try to get yeah. an answer for you. Okay. Okay. So we're So we'll correct. So we'll, we'll make sure we'll verify those numbers. That's is there any other stuff that people want to? Um, I, I just had a question. I mean, it, it is clear from the pictures that the addition is uh, on the second picture, the footprint of the addition covers, um, uh, excuse me, that um, like the, the set of four windows and then the set of two windows. But looking at the first picture, um, it looks like there, well, there's kind of like a, um, what do they call it? A pitched roof over the left side and then a flat roof over the right side. Mm -hmm. um, am I seeing that correctly? That there, that, yes. that, that the yes. right side, the right side has a flat roof? Yes, it does. Uh, for the reason that there's windows up above and we don't right. want to cover up the windows. Plus if you put a pitched roof over that whole thing and the pitch would go way up into the middle of the yeah, well, I was so my my my, um, my concern was what about drainage off of that flat roof? They're, they're, <laughs> buildings have flat roofs all the time. Right, There's, but I guess it'll have have some some they're, water. They're, yeah, it it won't have a swimming pool up there. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it when I first looked at the first picture, it looked like it was just a um, like a portico, not a an actual uh, part of the addition, but. Uh -huh. I, when I looked at the second picture, it was clear. Anyway, yeah, and, that, and that railing is just for looks. It isn't the place where you can go out and sit and have your coffee. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I caught that too because you'd have to climb out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Although, <laughs> isn't that Sue's office? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. <laughs> just a, just so, a question. Um, once we get this all straightened away, my intention is to you know email it to the uh, everyone everyone on the ARPA committee. 
I'm not sure who the chairman is. Is there a chairperson? Yes, yeah. it's a, Anna Ham. Is it Hamilton? Uh, it, it, was, she was selected at the last, they had an organizational meeting last week and she okay. was the one that was elected chairman. And I think, it, I think it's Anna Hamilton, no, but I'm not sure. No, it's Andrea, Andrea Hamilton. Oh, Andrea, okay. And, and Mimi Luttrell is the vice chair. Right. I, now, can, I can find out exactly who to send it to, Doug. Okay. I was gonna check. Um, I, so, um, what sh I don't want to surprise the, the capital committee, uh, per se, that they might hear it. So I'd like to send them, uh, you know, an, uh, an email as well saying that we've submitted this to ARPA. What, how do I, how do I word what our stand is for, for Woodward at the moment? Go ahead, Marianne. You may end up writing this, so. Yeah, <laughs> two things. Let me ask. Let me ask one thing. When you send sure. a uh, report to ARPA, are you also going to request a face-to-face uh, -face meeting with them? Because I think it's important that yes. you and Pam and Bill or whoever goes there, along with this letter, and then if they have any questions, because that's what has been happening when other people go to their ARPA meetings. Okay. And as far as the capital planning committee, uh, they have already. I think understood that we are going to go forward with this toward the ARPA and they are also, you know, kind of tentatively looking that this might be a good place to put some funds. So, you know, I think we're starting to sway them. <clears throat> when you get to Woodward, I think, I think what, um, I think what I would like to do with Woodward is list some of the things that we have concerns about. If we are looking at what our ultimate senior center should be, okay, and we look at other senior centers that stand alone, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm saying stand alone. What do they have that we will not have over at Woodward, okay? And, you know, first you start off with a level building, okay, one, one level building. Okay, so that, that's, that's the first thing. You know, you can talk about parking. You know, all these senior centers that stand alone, they have accessible parking that's right up to the door, you know, no, nowhere to go up the ramps or whatever, they go right into the, you know, then, then you get into, you know, shared space. And I know there's a lot of shared space and you say everybody's going to be friendly and deal with the shared space. That sounds wonderful, but remember, we're not just going to have recreation, youth and family services and ourselves in one building. Now we are having all the town offices, all the other extraneous things that they can throw in there. I'm concerned that once you do that, it's not only the shared spaces that you're going to lose, but you're also going to lose ability to have storage spaces or meeting spaces or this or that. And I know they said that in their report, oh, there's plenty of meeting spaces, plenty of storage. But we know from the past what happens when multiple groups get into a building that they end up you know, absorbing those areas because, oh, I need this, I need this. So, you know, we go into that shared space, um, you know, the distance to the common areas, whether you put us at the end, whether you put us at the middle, there's still a distance. It's not like, you know, you can walk from the office to, the, to a big room or you can walk to, you know, so all of these things we should look at what the ultimate senior center looks like and then make our list and say, this is what we are going to not have at Woodward. And, so you know, you know. Can I can I give you guys a, a quick a, a quick update on um, just to kind of get everybody back on the same page? I went over there um, with uh, Mark, Jason, Tim, uh, John. So I actually saw the saw it, um, which I had a definitely a different picture in my head before I walked in there. So um, to answer some of those questions, I guess. Um, if we were to have the design that I think we originally looked at with, or, or a design where the offices were near the entrance, um, I was told that, um, that there would be an additional 38 parking spaces in the back. Um, that was one, one thing. It's very flat. It is flat back there. I don't know. I mean, they'd have to do some work, I think, to get that amount of spaces, um, um, there's not really any space back there to use for anything else that I could see. 
Um, but basically, if that was the, if we went in the main entrance, you could use the front and the back door for parking. Um, and that's flat. The other thing I, um, um, if the offices were there, you can, you can access the office when you walk in that door. And just, it's, it's just one minute. Somebody's got a TV on or something. Could you put yourself on mute if you're not talking? Because I can hear. It's really I think it's your Russ. Room. It's Russ. No, I, go ahead. I'm not talking. Yeah, but you're making a noise. I think you're making a noise because you're coming up green, green, Russ. Some can you, way. So if you, you put yourself on. Noise. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm not green. Yeah, you are. Uh, are we green now? Let's see the lighting in here. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not on here. Are you supposed to be? Are you yes. supposed to be? Yes. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Is that better? Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was the parking coming in on a level spot if the offices were there. Um, the other thing that I had been really concerned about was those little, the stairs. Um, but I didn't particularly see that as a huge problem if that was set up, because if you're coming into a big event, you were already on the same level with the um, cafeteria and the gym. Um, where you'd have to use the stairs would be if you were going to a... Um, a different, like a, a different room um, for activities. Um, the offices would still be on that level too. So uh, I, I asked when you guys, I said, can you guys come in and see it? And the answer I got was kind of, there's some kind of a meeting going on tomorrow um, with the schools that may answer this possibility, yes or no. Um, so it kind of wasn't any point to doing it before that meeting, if it does, go forward if the schools want to bring it forward then maybe um we can have you guys take a look and see just so you see what we're talking about i i was gonna i was gonna suggest that to not confuse the issue and not bring up these these points these are all good points you know in this particular communication to the to the committee and just say, I want you to be aware that we've submitted funds, you know, funds for ARPA there. And, and keep it very simple. Why raise all these concerns here? Uh, and you know, uh, I think they I think they know in general what they are. If they want to bring us in, uh, myself in, Bill Pam in, and to talk about any other concerns, that's fine. But I I think is I think I'm just going to acknowledge the fact that hey. I want you to be aware we've, you know, we're, we've submitted this proposal to the, to the, uh, uh, to the ARPA committee, uh, because Marianne, I think you're right that they, I, I won't be unexpected. I don't think, I think it's, this is a courtesy that we're extending to them to know that we've actually done it uh, and then let them decide what they want to do. Uh, and Maybe in capital than, planning. Whole thing on. Uh, okay. Am I on mute? No. Just another, no. just another comment. Um, because Jason Malinowski sits on both the capital planning and then that school subcommittee meeting mm -hmm. uh, board or whatever it is committee. Um, he mentioned the other night that um, that they they hadn't heard anything from the council on aging as far as Woodward. So that's the only reason I'm bringing it up here. Um, I I don't want to I don't want I mean I I think something should go to um, I guess that. Uh, that subcommittee building committee saying at this time, the Council on Aging is still reviewing the plans, just to let them know that we haven't accepted it totally, but we haven't rejected it totally. But I think something needs to be said because he mentioned that we, ha we had not come forth with any comment on that as far as a board. So if we just kind of do a one, one liner saying that, then I think we cover our bases. So then we, when that moves ahead, then we have at least something we can work with. I think that's perfect. Mary, we, we actually took a vote last time. And I think it had something to do with the fact that Woodward wasn't our first choice. Correct. Mm -hmm. Did we communicate that vote to them? No. Well, that'd be a good thing to do, I think. Yeah. I don't think it was an official vote. Yes, it was. We took a we took a vote and we we told the committee. Yeah. It well. 
whatever, I think at this point, we need to send kind of that one liner saying that at this point, we're, you know, we're still not- We can still sort of say uh, it, it, uh, it's not uh, our first choice right now. I think we also ought to, in that communique, say it would be very nice if the whole committee had an, a council had a, an opportunity to tour the school. But I, I think I, that's I, important that you see it before you really make a, a total determination because there's, there's pros and cons, as, yeah. as uh, Pam said. Uh, to, okay, to that. Uh, I will. The other, the other point I want to say is not just the uh, reviewing the the plans as well as the timing. Yeah, timing is big. That's a, that's still a big issue, is the timing. You know, it could be the perfect place, but if it's if it's going to be, you know, uh, twenty thirty before we even see it, then it's a no go. That that's why our our focus right now is on the ARPA funds with this addition. That's and, right. And, and right. that's why and that's why this other issue should just be stated that this is what the board feels right now and we'll right. review that later but right now yeah. it's getting this addition to the upper funds and that's that's the focus so that, that i mean that's my opinion yeah I, I, and, and i agree because uh, my feeling is we we don't want to drop this thing on the, the renovation but at the same time we don't want to be left out of the woodward plan either because they could say okay they're happy now with the addition no, to Porterville. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, so, they're, they're begging for us to be happy with the option of Woodward School at this no, point. No, I'm saying that if, if, if we get the renovation and, and then five years from now, we're left out of the Woodward picture where we don't have a future but option. I don't think that's, that's not going to happen. But okay. I, I do think right. it, Well, I said I'd, I'd rather have it in writing that we're still reviewing the plans. Well, I think, I think it's very in, encouraging that at the advisory board meeting the other night that Kathy Cook encouraged us to go ahead with the renovation, not just suggested it, but encouraged us to go ahead with our plans yeah, that, for the that reservation and yes. that they would support us going with the renovation yeah. to Cordeville Hall yeah. based on the fact that that uh, that uh, Woodward is seven to ten years out on a good day. Yes. And we need, yeah. and, and our argument is we need this addition now. Right. I agree. I don't think the problem is the, is the addition. I think, but again, seven, seven to 10 years from now, we're, we're running out of room with the addition mm -hmm. and Woodward is, as in the meantime, filled in the space that we didn't want with mm -hmm. something else. So uh, yeah. we don't and want to be left out of the story. Right. And as everybody said, if it's $350,000, you divide that by 10. We're talking it's cost. It's not even costing the town, but it is costing thirty-five thousand dollars a year, which seems pretty insignificant compared to who knows forty, fifty million they're going to spend on the schools. I mean, the, the number dropped out for for a new Neri was sixty to eighty. Oh really? Oh mm -hmm. god! And that doesn't include that doesn't include renovating uh, Woodward. That's just the cost of a new Neri. <laughs> <laughs> so get that through the town meeting. Has anybody done a cost on yeah. a new senior center regarding <laughs> and leaving Woodward the way it is? No. Okay. Um, okay. So um, back to the original question, are there any more edits to the letter to our part? No, I think I it's pretty comprehensive. Yeah, okay. I don't have one. Yeah, I think you hit the points that they were asking for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll get that. We'll get that. I'll get a final copy to you, Doug and, okay. and uh, Pam, uh, who's ever going to get it forwarded to uh, ARPA. So and we do need. And at the time, re also request that we have the uh, opportunity to come and talk to them, which I Can think. Some Okay, can someone make a motion then so we can we can vote on it to accept this uh, uh, our communication uh, to uh, ARPA and that we, that we proceed a little bit I'll, make, I'll make that motion that we send the uh, communication, the presentation to the ARPA committee uh, and also ask them if you can um, be present at their meeting to 
answer any questions. I second that motion. I second it. Okay, I was on mute. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's all the business for today. Do we need to vote on that? Yes. Oh, roll call vote. I'm sorry. Uh, Brent? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Mary Ann? Yes. Carol? Yes. Bill? Yep. Russ? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, you're not on meeting board. Good. <laughs> All right. And then, Doug, uh, and then, Doug, the other thing you're going to do is send something to the, um, what is, I forget what it's called, the sub school design committee or whatever, and just say that, just a general, like, you know, we're, we're still reviewing the woodwork. I think that, I, I think I heard that they, they disbanded that, that this is the subcommittee on the capital planning. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. It's Mary the, um, it's, it's the school building subcommittee, da, 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 whatever it's called, design committee. But it was part of the one that was part of capital planning. Uh, I, I'm not uh, yeah. sure who it was part of, but I, but think I, yeah. I, just, I just think because um, Jason Milanowski mentioned that the other day that mm -hmm. it, you might, it, you know, if you have to send it to the board of selectmen or whoever, but just to let them know that, you know, we're, we're still reviewing that, not, you know, not necessarily weighing in on a positive or negative vote on that. I think I heard that that subcommittee was disbanded at the last uh, capital planning committee okay. meeting. All right. But anyway, we need so whoever we need to send that to somebody, whoever appropriately is. Is correct. Right. So let's. I'm not going to do this before Friday. I want to make sure there's not another capital plan. Somebody said. Uh, I think Pam, you said there's another capital uh, committee meeting this week. I thought it was yesterday, last night, so night. night before. It's tonight, I think. There's a school, there's some it's kind a of a school, school tonight. committee meeting tonight to talk about the Nary, Nary issue, I believe. And I, I'm pretty sure it's tonight, isn't it, Pam? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I heard that, that there's going to be some kind of, Jason said there's going to be some kind of decision made tonight. Well, then I'll try to, I'll try to go to it myself and we'll see where we are and we can talk about it on Friday. And, uh, and, and and then see what we do if the ch if it changes our motion at all and we can vote on it on Friday and that's why we, I wanted to do these two meetings to get the majority of the this detail out of the way and we know where we are on Friday we can either we can move more quickly to that then than if we had to go through this all again on a Friday morning where we have all these other things going on so Okay, just so okay. you know, it's the Capital Planning School Research Subcommittee, yeah. but it does not have a time. It's it's scheduled for the day, but there's no time. <laughs> so it may mean that you're not able to participate. I don't know, you know, YouTube. It, it an, just, open meeting, an open meeting, so. Right, but there's no time on it. All right, so yeah, you, could you try to find out what the time would be on it? Can you ask? Somebody at the town hall or some saying, hey, when is this going to happen? And let us know. You can let me know and I'll send out an email to folks. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just found it. It's at okay. 1230. Upcoming meetings, 1230 today. Oh. School research subcommittee meeting, 1230. Okay. So there's, they still are in, <laughs> in session, Bill. I guess so. <laughs> but this may be their last. You're right. Okay, so 12:30 today. Right. I'm gonna try to. I'll try to make it. Okay. All right. Uh, so do I hear uh, a motion to adjourn? So moved. That was Second. Brent. Second. Yeah. Russ. Russ. Yeah. Oh, Russ. Okay. All right, we are adjourned at uh, 909. We'll see you folks uh, Friday morning. I will, I will get a copy of the letter straight okay. out, edited, and off to Pam and you, Doug. Okay. Thank you. We'll send it around. I'll send it around. Okay. All right, everybody. Is the meeting going to be a Zoom or a regular meeting? It's a Zoom meeting. Zoom. Yeah. We're still not.
I don't, well, we're going to find out. I hope, this is, I hope this is our last, Friday is our last Zoom meeting. I hope. <laughs> unless, you're in Florida, <laughs> unless you're in Florida. Yeah, this yes, if we're in Florida. What happened? Yeah. What about the snowbirds? <laughs> well, we, we can't do both, unfortunately. You know, this was so complicated. We didn't get this thing till eight o'clock, after eight o'clock last night to get this Zoom link. And it was only because we had a, you know, uh, yell and holler a little bit. Yeah, I don't even know how that, I'm not even sure how it happened, how we, Doug. Yeah, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. And I don't have one for Friday yet. On some of the meetings so, I've watched, they said that you can go onto the town meeting and uh, our town uh, website, and you can actually book the room through that. I don't know how you do it, but I was told that at, 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 when you hear in the meetings. The room has been booked. I've booked all the rooms. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, so that's already been done. Oh, well I, then it should show up. It should. It does show up there, but they don't send us a link to go in. Oh. Uh. <laughs> can't you can't you go in from the home page of Southpro and go down to the virtual meetings? But you have to have somebody that starts the meeting. The host. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you need to talk to the IT guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I still haven't heard back from him on my uh, email address uh, being locked. Okay. I'm not sure what happened because I mean, uh, Doug sets it up and I always host it, like open it up and not always easily, but I we managed to get there. And so I'm not sure what was different this time. Um, it, I thought maybe Tim got us in, but he he didn't. So I don't know. I don't know why it happened in the middle of, of that at eight o'clock last night. I'm not sure why yeah. it was so late. I mean, I, I set this up last week to make sure we were well, you know, in, in uh, ahead of everything. So he was I'm waiting sure for you to cancel it <laughs> right after you canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Sent it out. Yeah. All right. Thank you, okay. folks. All right. Thank you, All right. Thank you for the letter. That was great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, thanks. Thanks, Bill. Bye, all. Bye. Bye.